President Bola Ahmetinubu has said that a $1 trillion Nigerian economy is possible by 2026 and a $3 trillion economy is possible within this decade, noting that Nigeria can do it with double-digit, inclusive, sustainable and competitive growth. Declaring the 29th Nigerian Economic Summit open in Abuja, he allayed the concerns of the business community, assuring them that cru crucial plans were underway to improve foreign exchange liquidity. Tinubu was confident that by working closely with the private sector, financing the $3 trillion national infrastructure stock can be achieved in 10 years and not in 300 years. English ladies and gentlemen, a $1 trillion economy is possible. by year 2026, and a $3 trillion economy is also possible within this decade. We can do it with double-digit inclusive and sustainable competitive growth. This is our agenda. I would like to charge you. The captains of industry here present to commit yourself and redouble your effort to our vision of a renewed hope. According to the president, by January 2024, the new student loan program and consumer credit schemes would have come into effect, thus ensuring the construction of new and affordable homes at a record pace. He outlined the eight priority items of his administration to include ending poverty, achieving food security, economic growth and job creation, access to capital across all segments of society and the economy. Others are inclusivity, security, fairness, rule of law, and fighting corruption, stating that he is committed to delivering improved livelihoods and positive economic outcomes which Nigerians can tangibly feel and experience. My government has introduced ZEFRA, measures to research stage the economy, including 500 billion naira intervention to support small scale businesses and the agricultural sector. By January 2024, the new student loan program must commence. <laughs> to the future of our children and students, we are saying no more strikes. <laughs> there must be consumer credit the scheme we have to come to effect as soon as possible. With more than 133 million multidimensionally poor Nigerians, Chairman of the Economic Summit Group, Nii Yusuf, said a multi-trillion dollar economic growth trajectory will urgently need certain actions, including macroeconomic stabilization, supported by an aggressively skilled national security effort to halt all forms of syndicated and organized crime around crude oil and solid minerals, plus a Made in Nigeria agenda. To halt all forms of syndicated and organized crime around crude oil and solid minerals. Two, a Made in Nigeria agenda. To make in Nigeria, however, two striding drivers must be put in place. First, the National Emergency Energization Program to ensure easy access to stable, repeatable, and affordable electricity supply. Second, is the creation of the National Infrastructure Corridor Development Program that will ensure an integrated linkage and logistic network, network that will link value chains to sea, land, and airports. 
Three is a national job creation plan that drives the creation of huge volume of high quality jobs. Facilitators, sponsors, and delegates at the summit agreed with President Tinubu that Nigeria can achieve its desired economic growth through a more inclusive process. We have no option now to develop the economy. Luckily, we have to We have the potentials, but we have to turn the potentials to competitive opportunities. Right? You know, potential not developed is waste. God has put so much in terms of the things that we are going to do. And that is why the projection of the entire economy, the economy is projected, and I'm hearing to the president that is among this economy, the one to the dollar economy, very soon. Right? So, I believe it can be done. The summit has always been a part of the government. If the president says, gives an advantage of most of the world in the economy, also we're looking at how we can promote national relations so that more Nigerians believe in Nigeria. But I think in the last few years, uh, many Nigerians have had recent faith uh, with the country, and so we believe that it's because of security, it's because of economic stability, it's because of how we can attract capital good domestic for it. Uh, it wasn't because of infrastructure, and that is important for institutions. But lastly, I must focus on how to promote national cohesion. The annual Nigerian Economic Summit is organized by the Nigerian Economic Summit Group in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Budgets and National Planning. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.